Hello and welcome back. Today we're doing something a bit different. We're doing queues, well, an implementation of queues in C using structures, okay? Um, the only things you need to do, requirements to kind of understand this, is you need to have a understanding of pointers, pointer to pointers, etc., and also um, memory allocation, okay? So just kind of like allocate memory for using malloc or calloc, okay? Just just some type of a memory allocation um, knowledge. Obviously, um, just basic programming, obviously, but that, that's just a given. Um, okay, so what we're doing is we have a structure called listNode that has data and it has a pointer of the same type of structure that points to like the next element. So we will kind of want to have a structure that points to another structure that points to another structure etc etc so we could i call them nodes okay so we have a node that points to a node that points to a node and each node as well has data okay and it's gonna be a character a b c d etc okay that's all we want we could keep strings we could keep ages of people but we're just gonna keep a data okay just just one letter so our queue has the in queue which just basically adds a new node to the very last of the queue and DQ just gets rid of the first one, okay? Just delete the first one. Um, the only thing we have to want, we want is in the main just to keep track of star PTR, which is the very start of the function, okay? The very start of the queue, okay? Just, um, so it's, it's a pointer of type list node that points uh, to star PTR, okay? Just to point to the very start of the, of us, okay? That's it, basically. Easy as that, okay? Um, so, in queue is just a function that's gonna in queue. We pass the star PTR. We can call that star PTR if you want to, okay? And you pass the value that the user inputs to just to have on the node. The queue just passes the star PTR and print list just prints a list. Easy as that, okay? It prints a list of how many elements we have, okay? So first of all, we have to do print list. Why do we have to do that? Uh, just the easiest one. So for print list, well, let's just gonna create a list node. Oh, also again, um, we have a type definition that calls list node with capital L, so we we can avoid just calling struct list node. It's got like a synonym, okay? So instead of just saying struct list list node is equal to malloc etc., we can just do list node with capital L. That's it. So um, we're gonna create a new pointer, list node, of type list node, and we're gonna call this current PTR, okay? So current PTR is equal to star PTR. So here we're passing um, the very star PTR, we're passing the value of it, okay? Um, um, so we're gonna create a new one just to work locally. You could actually work with this, but I like just to create a new one just to work locally, just because okay so we have the current ptr this is going to be like an index so um first of all we want to loop through each element in the queue so first of all i think we should check if the current ptr is equal to null so see if it's null just in case someone passed null by mistake or if current ptr the next ptr is equal to null so we're saying if we're passing the very first element, star PTR would be either null or it would be it would be pointing to null. That means there's only one element. And what I mean element is just the first one, which is the star PTR. We just we can just print f um, list is empty, and then we can return. Okay, just to avoid to stop execution of the function. Perfect. Now. What we can do is now we want to do a while loop, and in this while loop, we can do while current PTR next PTR is not equal to null. Okay, remember it's pointing next PTR is just the element. Let me go back over here. It's just the element is the pointer that's pointing at of the list node, okay, on each one of them. So if it's we loop through one of them until we say that until we get the last one. How do we know it's the last one? We're only interested in the last one, right? Um, to stop at the last one. How do we know if it's the last one? Well, we know that. And actually, no, I'm, I'm saying this wrong, sorry. We say, while current PTR is equal to null, it's not equal to null. We'll look at that in a minute. 
we're saying Corbin PTR. Corbin PTR. Um, well, first of all, we want to do a printf, right? We want to print a character of the current PTR. And then we just want to do like a little arrow. I don't think we want that at all. And then what are we trying to print? We're trying to print each letter, okay, of the data. So we want to get the current PTR data, okay? So we're just going one by one. So now we do current PTR is equal to current PTR next PTR. So we're saying it's just shifting one by one, okay? So we get the next one, we print the data, then we assign this this variable to the next one, we print the data, and it gets to the point that current PTR is null because the very last element is pointing to null, and that's just gonna stop the while loop, okay? It's gonna say that's gonna evaluate as false and it's gonna stop the execution. The only thing we want to do after is just, we might want to just print null. Why are we printing null? Because I, if you can see here, this arrow here, it's it just gonna look like it's looking at something else. So we're just gonna print one by one, character arrow, character arrow, character arrow, and then we just put null. So that arrow is gonna like point it at null just to make it look prettier, okay? There's no way we really we can test this. Whoops. A list is compiling properly, but we can't really go, uh, test it because print list. Actually, we call gem because we call it print list if the user enters one and enters two. But the queue and end queue functions are not going to work. Okay, so so let's just empty. Okay, so we enter a choice. We're going to try to dequeue. Our list is empty. Good. We're trying to end queue. The end queue function doesn't work, but we want to end queue letter A. List is empty, okay? We're not enqueuing, but the list is still empty. Perfect. And three is exit. Well, it seems like the list is kind of working. We, we can't really be sure now. So let's do the... Um, actually, you know what? We can stop it here. We stop the video here. And we we can do enqueue in the next one. And DQ as well, okay? So we'll do enqueue and, en and DQ. You know what? No, we'll do everything together in this video, okay? Um. I just want to have short videos, but that's all right. So we'll do it here. So we have this function called in queue that passes the star PTR, but remember it's a bit different because we're here we're passing just the pointer, here we're passing the double pointer. Why are we passing a double pointer? We're passing a double pointer, we're gonna call that star PTR as well, just to like. We're passing a double pointer um, because if not, it will be something like pass with value. Uh, and we're passing the value that we want to create, okay? So what's the first thing we want to do when we're in queue? We remember, we're adding the first element. We add an element to the very end of the queue. So first of all, we have to just create a new element. So we do a list node. We're going to call it new PTR. Is equal to malloc and size of list node, okay? So we're allocating memory and we're going to create a new pointer type list nodes and we're allocating memory for that now let's just check if new ptr is equal to null when doing this just in case if malloc fails or there's not enough memory in the system to give it to you even though it's just a few bytes it's just going to return null okay so we're going to check if there's any problem we do a printf not enough memory Okay, so I just said, sorry, there's not enough memory and re return. Perfect. Now, what we want to do is we want new PTR data to be equal to the value, okay? So new PTR now is just that it's a list node, okay? There's no way, just it doesn't exist. It does exist, but it's not pointing out anyway, just a list node somewhere, okay? Just up here, imagine. Um, so in this list node, we're going to put, put the data that we pass that we call value okay so we say new ptr data is equal to value perfect also this node the one we just created the new ptr is going to be the very last one because it's a queue so this means that because the very last element is going to be is not going to be pointing anywhere else because the last element so there's no point to a new node because the last node so it's going to be pointing to null so what we can do is just new ptr um next ptr 
is equal to no that means there's no next value there's no other value coming after that one because the last one so that's good we're good now problem number one is that we have star ptr star ptr is a pointer that's pointing to the very start of the queue and we don't want that we want the very end so we have to basically just loop through each one of them until we until we find the very last one so we can insert our new ptr so what we can do is we can create a new list node and we can call it current ptr is equal to the start ptr okay so we have the current one we're going to use that as, as an index again so we do while current ptr next ptr is not equal to no so this while loop is just going to be shifting things so what i have done here i have i'm saying while oops, while a pointer this current ptr is not pointing anywhere else so if it's until while it's not the end the very last node because it's not pointing anywhere else just shift it we say current ptr is equal to the next node that is pointing at so we're saying current ptr is this one no it's not the last one no now we say current ptr is the next one we check if it's the last one no it isn't we come to the third one which is the last one and it's pointing to no because the very last element so the while this evaluates is false and the while loop doesn't execute anymore so now current ptr now after this while loop is the very last element of the queue the very last one okay so now is the last element or the last node of the queue and here we're just shifting current ptr until we find okay perfect so current ptr is not the last node so we want to do two things we want to get the last node which is current ptr and at the moment current ptr is pointing to no okay oh we don't want to be pointing at no we want it to be pointed at the new ptr right new ptr is the the one we just created okay so new ptr now is added to the list and now because added to the list that's all we need that's it finito so we can run it and we're probably going to get tons of errors but oh it worked well it didn't work but like so we have main we're going to try to nq a see that's our team working we're going to try to nq again we're going to do d mm, that's working after perfect so that's star ptr because it doesn't have any data remember that's just the start then we added a then D and then D remember is pointing to null. Uh, let's add another one. Uh, R perfect. That's working as well. Um, um, remember how are we showing this? We're showing this here in the list print list. Okay. I hope that's clear enough. So now two doesn't really work. See, it's just printing because we haven't done the function yet. So let's stop the execution of the program and go to the queue. The DQ one is a bit simpler. Um, we're passing the star PTR. Okay. So the only thing we want to do is we want the start PTR to be pointing to the second element. Okay. So we have star PTR that's pointing to first one, and the first one points to the second one, and the second one to the third one. We just want the star PTR to point in at the second one instead and get rid of the previous one. Okay. So we're going to create a list node. Well, first of all, we want to check if star PTR is equal to no, or if star PTR next PTR is equal to no. So we want to see if we're pass they're passing no, or if the first value is the start of it. Okay, so if they're passing the first element and is pointing to no, it means that the list is empty. Okay so um we just do return that means there's no element so we can just start looping through things that don't exist perfect now um now after this 
if statements. Now, over here, it means that there is elements in the array. There are the queue. There are nodes. So what we want to do is to say, first of all, let's just say for now, let's just create a new list node, and we're gonna call it. Uh, we're gonna call it first element. First node is equal to start PTR. Okay. Perfect. Um, what else do we need? Let me have a look. Um, okay. Well, we have the first node, don't we? So start PTR is the very first element of that is just pointing so uh, theoretically star ptr is just got like a pointer that is just pointing the first element so we want to get the first node okay perfect and then what else do we have to do we want to say that um now we want to just say star ptr so You know what? We're just gonna grind in list node, okay? Okay, we're gonna create a new list node of start. Uh, that's just gonna be the start. We're just gonna call it the very start, okay? So now all we have to do is just say start next PTR is equal to the first node, but it's not equal to the first node because that was already happening, okay? Remember, that was already happening. We want to do is to the first node next ptr so that'll be the second element okay and actually we want to do it even better we can do list node second node is equal to first node next ptr perfect so we're saying the first node is the one that start ptr is pointing at second node is the the next ptr that first node is pointing at and then we have the start now if they say just if we have the start just say okay well the start now has to point to second node okay so before it was pointing to first node now it's pointing to second node that's it um we could do without creating so many variables but that's you know just to make our lives easier and then we can just call free and it's just gonna free up the memory of the node so it's just gonna delete the node of memory well it's not gonna delete it but it's just gonna you know just get rid of memory um, so we want to delete the first node we don't really have to do this but it's good practice just to get rid of the node so let's see if we get any errors when we compile and yes we do um, why are we why are we getting members um, because I don't like working okay okay so the error I was getting is that that is a pointer to pointer, so there's no pointer that has a value of next PTR because just a pointer. So I'm just dereferencing the star PTR. So this one has already contains the act the actual um the actual node, the first PTR, and now we can just test it, okay? Um so that should work. And also also instead of just doing this we do the same okay so we just get the first element we have to re-reference and do the bracket things okay so now that's compiling perfect we're just gonna nq1 nqb nqy another q a is gone perfect let's just gonna get rid of v now v is gone now we're gonna get rid of y list is empty list is empty Okay, perfect. So now that's working. That's the end of the video. Uh, I hope it was uh, simple enough. In my GitHub account, I'll be, I'll have a, I'll have a repository where you can see all my code. Uh, if I don't remember to put it in the description, please let me know. And thanks for watching.